Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be shooting another. I'm gonna be doing another video about Beto. Uh, this is uh, gonna be everything about Beto: her build, constellations, weapons, uh, about everything. Like everything you need to play Beto. If you want to be a Beto main like me, which I probably be, I have been playing Beto for the past five days, and I built her up a lot. This is and uh. <laughs> this is gonna be my first uh, video about uh, tut like tutorial builds, like uh, literally about tutorial. But this is my first time doing this, so I'm probably, I'm, I'm I'm a newbie when it comes to this. But I'll do my best to show what is the uh, best way to build this character up. So with the further ado, uh, I will get started. And the timestamps will be uh, listed below in the video in the description too. So if you want to know, if you just want to know uh, everything to her constellations and weapons, it's, it's, if you just want to skip that to that part, then you can go ahead and do that. But anyway, let's get this started. Now, as for Beto's team comp, she could pretty much be with anybody. But if you have her as a main DPS, uh, it's best to have her any crowd character. And it's always good to have like uh, Zhang Li because he, he can also decrease physical resistance. If you want to do elemental reactions, it's uh you can make a hydro character team, a hydro team, which there would be electro charge, which electro charge is pretty nice, pretty uh pretty nice, yeah. There's a lot of good damage. Other than that, that's all I have to say about Beto's team comp. She can pretty much be with anybody. So for her artifacts, I am going for the Bloodstained uh, Chalvary and the Gladiator set. Uh, this is a pretty balanced set, like a really balanced set. Uh, it's, it's built, so I basically have her built on physical damage and uh, an attack percent. So if you have a high attack percent, she actually still does a lot of damage with a counter. So if you're that type of Beto player, yeah, you wanna you wanna do a lot of damage with your swings, right? But not only that, you wanna uh, you wanna hit hard with that uh, counter. So if you're that if you're that type of player, you should definitely go with this build. Like it's it's insane. Beto is mad insane with this build. And not only that, she can also work as a support, which is which is godly. Like if you have a, a, a Tartaglia, you could just uh, so if you're if you're using Tartaglia, you can just uh, switch him switch him in after you done with after you use Beto's burst, and you will do some electro shock like. Your enemies are literally gonna taste a stun gun. Like they're gonna get tased so hard. They're gonna get tased like hella hard. And uh, yeah, that's, this is why this is one of the best set. I, I feel like this is one of the best bets. And uh, the other set, if you want to go with, is the electro damage, the full electro set, which is from the, which is this one right here, this one, the thundering fury set. If you go, if if you want to go full support with her, then that will work out really well too. Especially if you have a uh, water boy. Or uh, Tartaglia, then that, that that would work out like really well. Other than that, I don't know why people said Electro is a bad element. Like, just why? It, it's pretty good. I know that I know that uh, Vaporize and Melt is like the meta, the meta elementary reaction. But Electro is pretty, it's, it's pretty okay. I should say it's good for the carries a little bit, or just overall. I I think it's more funner overall in general. Okay, now also for this build, uh, you're gonna need uh, mostly for for the uh, for the sands, you're gonna need attack percent or not? Yeah, you're gonna need attack on it. And then the goblet, you should go for physical damage, or if you're support, then go for the electro damage. But if you're if you're main DPS, physical damage is is better that way. And uh, crit rate, and this one's crit rate, crit damage, whatever you need. The most you should definitely go for it. I need more crit rate, so that's why I put crit rate on my uh, circlet. Now, as for the constellation, I only have two constellation, and she still does pretty well. But I don't think you need any constellations for uh, this Beto build exactly, because uh, she's actually still pretty good in C zero. But if you do have her constellations, then uh, good for you. It's 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 okay to have those. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid too. So yeah. And as for talents, uh, if you're uh, making your, if you're, if, if she's your main DPS, then you should have her, you should definitely level up your normal attack more. And 
if you want to use your counters, uh, definitely go for a tide collar. Like, yeah, you, you, you're definitely gonna go for a tide collar. It'll upgrade out a little bit. It doesn't have to be too high. It still hits pretty damn hard, even at level five. I've uh, I've hit like heavy damage with this E skill, even though she isn't built for electro damage. So it, it's pretty solid. As for her weapon, I am currently using Whoops Gravestone that I've gotten from the uh, after the Dragon Spine update when I got the uh, the you know the standard the quaint fates from the character ascensions. I I got this. I was lucky enough to get this, so it was pretty damn insane. I'm just glad that I got this weapon because this weapon is so good. Like it's so good to have. But you know, but if you're a, a true free to play, you don't you don't have a five star great sword, and uh, definitely go for this one, the uh, Archiac pr prototype Archiac. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the prototype Archiac is like the best uh, the best free to play weapon for for your Beto main. So there's also another good uh, uh, great sword that if you want her if support, it's the Favonis. I don't have it, but it's a Favonis. Another good one is the Black Cliff Slasher, which I do not have either because uh, I keep spending it on wishes. But the Black Cliff Slasher is a really good one if you're uh, wanting the more crit damage. Now this here is a little example. Uh, it's a little, it's a little showcase of what she can do. This is a uh, the, anim the animal domain where its physical damage is increased, and if she has very high physical damage, just a lot. So I'll show you guys here. Like, jeez, like you could just fucking, you could just click, and clicky click, and counter like this, you could do this, use another character out. Like, it's so good! Alright, here's another one at the Spiral Abyss, so uh, I'm gonna uh, see what I could do in Spiral Abyss with Beidou, since I have her built up. I used her a little bit in Spiral Abyss just, uh, the other day. And I think she does pretty well in it, so this build is actually really good for Beto currently. Like, really, really, really good. Holy my gosh! Right here with the crowd on me, let's get going. Oh my gosh. That's pretty heavy damage there. That was pretty heavy solid damage. That was like really solid damage there. Alright, so here I have a great explanation why I, I feel like if you're if you want to battle main DPS, right, it's better to have her on physical damage, of course, because Beto she relies on countering, right? So, and we want mostly most of the time Beto mains experience the pain of enemies not hitting them, which is their only uh, downside. You gotta rely on enemies hitting you, which some of the AI is really dumb, so they're not, they're not gonna hit you. <laughs> so. If you have around physical damage, you at least be able to uh, do some uh, great amount of damage. A great amount of damage by just lift clicking and using her uh, cool, her cool uh, combat style because she has a really nice combat style. I like it, really, really fancy. And I just like the way she, uh, I just like the way she fights, like the way she uh, swings her sword around and stuff. So if you like swinging your sword, hack and slash, then this build is basically literally the best for you is it's literally your day for this one like if you want to be a beta main then this is like the, the perfect build you can use for her just full out physical damage all right just go full out physical damage and you'll be fine like beta is literally flexible with all this stuff so gladiator physical damage like these two sets together it's it's literally it's literally pretty damn well good look my artifacts not even maxed out yet <laughs> so I could probably be doing a lot more damage than what I have right now, but 
I just wanted to show you guys like this quick video and showcase what Beto can actually do. And that Beto is not a B tier, alright? She's not. Alright? In my book, she's an S tier, like literal S tier main DPS. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, this is like the end of the video. I'll, sh I'll talk to you guys later in another video, probably in the future. But other than that, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs>